TypeScript 5.0 is coming out. And this video is gonna show you all of the cool things that are coming. Like there's tons and tons of stuff that they've got planned and I wanna show you it all end to end. Release schedule is here. It looks like TypeScript 4.9 released, yes, on November 15th. And they're gonna be releasing the beta in January, the RC in February and March will be the final release when you can start using it in your applications. The big headlines here are ECMAScript decorators are finally gonna get kind of natively implemented by TypeScript. One I'm kind of interested in is declaration files for non-JavaScript files. This seems pretty interesting. The one that I'm definitely most excited to use is actually not one that's gonna impact your day-to-day -day usage of TypeScript at all. It's migrating the TypeScript code base to modules. This sounds like Okay, why wasn't this already happening? But it's pretty big. So let's start here. This project to migrate the code base to modules is basically going to give you enormous amounts of speed ups when you're using TypeScript. I can't remember the figures off the top of my head, but I remember when the PR got announced and actually got merged, it was something like kind of 250,000 lines long or something crazy. And what this lets you do is it means that TypeScript is going to be smaller in your node modules. So it's like 25% smaller basically to download and it's also going to run somewhere between 10 and 15 percent faster you're going to notice that when you're using vs code and like uh, you're waiting for your types to compile it's going to feel a lot quicker so i'm really excited for this to land in 5.0 even though the pr got merged it hasn't actually landed yet but it will be coming the next cool feature is decorators now decorators have been around in javascript for a little while but actually only as a proposed bit of syntax so you can see here in TC39 that it's actually only stage, well, it's, it's stage three, which is pretty good. And this is usually when TypeScript starts saying, okay, we're gonna implement it in our thing. And you've probably used decorators with TypeScript before, you know, um, but what they're gonna do is actually implement it as part of their compiler and understand it and um, allow you to just sort of transpile it down to JavaScript natively. Daniel, who's kind of like the head of TypeScript or the head of the TypeScript team, says they're not gonna kind of model the decorators can change the type of things idea, um, which means that there's probably not gonna be a lot on the type level that we can get excited about, but you know, it's still gonna be a big runtime change and it's gonna allow you to use more features natively in, in TypeScript. This one's kind of interesting, enabling declaration files for non-JS extension files. So you have like wasm, starsheet.css, component.html. Now this is possible in TypeScript right now if you make a declaration file with like .d.ts here. And what you can do is kind of like specify different modules. Um, like you can, in React for instance, you can specify like star PNG or something to affect all PNG files. But I think the idea that they're going for is that you would be able to in TypeScript 5 be able to say filename.d.extension.ts. So filename.d.css.ts, for instance. And this means that you'd be able to like directly map onto the things that you're trying to type. Overall, I'm really, really happy with the shape of this version and how it's all coming together. Like there's stuff in here that you can kind of only do in major versions, you know, like removing dead flags, removing deprecated ideas. And what this means is that TypeScript is getting slimmer over time. Like it's sure we're adding the de ECMAScript decorators proposal. Um, we're kind of moving to this sort of more modular code base, but it means that you're not going to have any major migration issues upgrading to 5.0. I think it's going to be pretty smooth. I can't actually see anything in the list that's going to cause me any major headaches when I'm moving my code bases there. So set your calendars, set your watches. It's going to be March when TypeScript 5.0 drops. It's not really going to be a major event in terms of you moving code around or doing anything like this, unless they change something in the iteration plan or something similar. But it's going to be a big day for all of us. It's going to be means TypeScript is getting faster, means they can cut a load of guff from out of the TS config file. I'm excited. If you enjoyed this video, then like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.